I wanted to go back also to the point you made about the, the net zero strategy, because I, I think that's quite impressive. Um, you know, the UK uh, legislated uh, for a net zero target for 2050, and, and it's only one of six countries in the world that have done that. And part of the problem is it's a very complex issue. It's easy to set a target, but distilling that down into how a region does it, how a city does it, how a corporate does it, is, is extremely complex. And I'm, I'm fascinated as to how you manage to, to do it. How does, how does Tesco manage to, to take that you know, 1.5 um, uh, degree target, that's, that's sort of a sort of a science-based target, and uh, distill it into a tangible strategy? Well, look, as you've said, it's multifaceted. And um, what we thought about is, first of all, you know, we start at home, which is, you know, what I've said about the carbon that we use. So how do we get to, you know, renewable energy across our store estate and across our group buildings? You know, how do we transform the fleet of vehicles so that we're 100 percent electronic? So we've done everything we we believe we can do uh, to commit and get to where we want to get ahead of our 2050 target in the UK. Right. So, you know, we 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 are we absolutely expect to reach net zero in the UK by 2035 in terms of the things we own and control. But, you know, one of the things we absolutely acknowledge as Tesco is that our, our responsibility and accountability doesn't stop in the stuff that we just own, right? So, we, you know, we feel very strongly that, that there are at least two other very big areas that we can influence and play a part in. And the first is, is help, how do we help our customers manage their emissions? So you will have seen, you know, I'm guessing you're a Tesco shopper from what you just said, but you'll have seen that, you know, um, increasingly electronic vehicle charging points across our car parks are becoming more and more common. Now, it's our commitment that by 2021, we'll have 2,400 electronic vehicle charging bays across our UK car parks for people to use. Now, because we think that's one way we can help our customers do what they want to do, which is manage their emissions. And we come back to the fact that you know, if electronic vehicles are, if we're going to shift to EVs, you know, electronic vehicles as 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 the core uh, domestic transport in the UK, people have got to be able easily to charge them. So, you know, we think we can play a really a really important part in that. But, you know, the other the other area then, of course, is the influence we can bring across our supply chain. So, working incredibly closely with Tesco suppliers to understand. What are their efforts to deliver to their net zero uh, commitments? And what role can Tesco play, whether that's in the distribution network, whether that's in the sharing of data to enable efficiency on uh, food deliveries? You know, what, what role can, they, can we play in helping our supplier partners get to their goals too? 